Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And uh, looking at it, it's uh, it's going up quite a bit, especially right here. Ethereum is up 26% in seven days. That's really, really uh, good. You know, Avalanche up 24% seven days. Even XRP is up 12%. Um, Polygon Matic up almost 60% in a week so there's bullishness behind this move somehow there's bullishness behind this move so what we're going to do is try to figure out is this a corrective move so right now uh bitcoin bitcoin is a laggard i find this very very odd the market's giving us mixed signals guys and uh you know, what it would like to see, this would be a lot better if Bitcoin was moving out. I put this parallel channel. You could see that uh, this move here, you know, you put it up there. It's like right even with that. So I don't know, like with Bitcoin, you want to see it bust out of here and then start making a trend up. And, you know, you can't deny like if this is one, two, this could be one, two, and it could be in the process of making a third wave. That's the bullish move with to it. Like right here, one, two, one, two or maybe it's in the process of making a diagonal. But let's go over Ethereum, Ethereum, since Ethereum is the mover for the week. And here's what I did. I said, okay, let's go ahead and say Ethereum is bullish and it's making a diagonal and it's a possibility. So this is what you wanna look for on Ethereum. This is what could happen with Ethereum. Let's say that it is, because it all the even though it's moved quite a bit there's still a struggle especially with other altcoins so there's other coins i'm looking at say for example i'm gonna go over metis real quick i said look guys there's i i did a video on metis and i said look there could be a local bottom in this area with metis and you check it out one two three four i would be looking for something like that i wouldn't be jumping into these coins yet because you know let it complete that and then catch it on that second wave and this possibility possibly could be when um the market so you have the fed coming up to raise rates you have the dxy here on the you have the dxy on the weekly chart guys it's coming up to do a peak so you look right here that's a bearish divergence right there on the dxy then you have your third wave over here on your rsi this peak right here so from from here to here and here to here like this you have your massive amount of bearish divergence and your bearish divergence right there guys so this is going to be peaking the fed's going to be raising uh rates 75 basis points some people are saying a uh, one percentage point i don't buy that i don't think so i think max will be 75 basis points you could obviously see demand destruction going on in the markets and you know this is this is uh in my opinion a little bit wishful thinking but if you're looking for bullishness in ethereum so when the Fed, the Fed raises rates and then maybe the DX and, and the, the negative news comes, I'd be looking for something like that as a possibility, okay? Um, otherwise, and then coming down and spiking up onto another move up to 2,000 or more on, uh, on Ethereum. That's what I would be doing. I think right now what's going on, just because of the mixed mess messages through the market, so like I look at Polkadot, you know, they're just kind of struggling to get up. I think it has to do with the macro environment, what's going on with the DXY hasn't peaked yet. The uh, the Fed's coming up to raise interest rates, even though that might be priced in already into the market. So I think by the end of the month, we'll have a lot more clarity what's gonna be going on next two weeks. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for, guys. Just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sitting back and, and watching and see what's going on with the market right now, guys. Um, the only reason why I'm not a little bit more, um, have a little bit more, say, if you will, go more towards maybe some bullish side with it is Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is just in that area that hasn't done a breakout yet. And then, you know, at the same time, maybe uh, it's all fake out with uh, Ethereum. But we will we will see. We'll see here because, you know, it could with the the Fed rates hike, the Fed rate hike coming you know, it could do another swing back down. And just looking at some of the energy, it looks like the energy, like oil trend is going to go be going up a little bit temporarily, and then it might swing back down. And uh, when it when the oil and the energy goes back up, this might swing it back around, kind of, and the DXY finishes its peak, and then it could swing it back around. But 
you know, remember at the back of your mind, you know, this could be somehow a disguised as some sort of bullish activity and it, and it could just start getting out of here into these areas. So these are the areas I, I, I want to see it uh, definitely above that 23 area. And then if you come over here and look, you know, it's hanging out with these areas right here, guys. So it needs to get up past all these areas uh, for Bitcoin. And the other thing, too, I was looking at, guys, I find it uh, very odd with Bitcoin is the uh, the Bitcoin dominance is uh, coming down. And I was kind of expecting it to go back up. We we'll have to see how this plays out right here with Bitcoin dominance. There's three way swing down here, whether it ends there or here and then goes back up. Um, and maybe that will be this wherever this ends and this swings back up could be the uh, the last correction for Bitcoin right here, in my opinion. Same thing with uh, uh, my opinion, the USDC chart is in a uh, fourth wave, a drawn out fourth wave right here and another peak up just like that. And that might be the correction, the last correction on Bitcoin. And then it can go into this. It's just what I'm, it's just kind of what I'm looking at getting an overall picture. Okay. I don't think it's quite done yet. I just, I don't think it's quite done. Um, it could surprise it. It could be a corrective bounce. We just don't know yet. I'm just going to let it play out. I'm sitting on my hands till I see how this plays out right now. There's a lot of pumps out there. Um, wait for the correction. Wait for the correction on these coins, all of them, in my opinion, to see how they play out. Just my take. Made all the way to the end. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace. Thank you.